Hello friends, welcome back and today we are going to work on the directives in Angular. So directives are basically used to change the look and feel of your web page, right? So how we can create a directive and how we can use it, let's see. So first let's go to the command prompt and open the command prompt for the same location where our project is. cd slash my project is at this location angular project angular one okay so just need to create one directive so for that you need to generate the directive ng generate directive color of color text color text color I'm not sure why it's not going to X well now it should be generated the text color directive will be generated here and uh, if you open this then you will be able to see that the color directive must have been generated so these are the two files which have been generated in fact, three files must have been generated. One is, no, there are two files and one file was updated, app.module.ts. So the two files are textcolor.directive.ts and this is the specification file, like how the object will be initialized or the instance of this class will be initialized. Okay, so here let's have some more things here. So suppose I just want to display this text. You can see that there is a text which is displayed on the main page, main web page, which is Hello Angular. And let's see if it has been compiled or not. Yes, it has been compiled. So we are able to see Hello Angular here. I just want to make the background color of this Hello Angular as red, green or blue, or you can say the yellow. How we can do that? So let's go to the color.directive.ts. This is our main file and inside the constructor we need to give one element element ref okay so element ref and uh, this is needed so it was already added as soon as i written this it was added here if not added then you need to add it okay let's add some code here and the whatever element i will get here i just want to change the color of that element to yellow so I just need to use dot and after dot I just need to write uh, background color right so this is the property background color please make a note of the spelling and uh, the syntax of uh, using it in a proper case it's background color so i'm just want to i just want to create it yellow so i will just use the yellow color here so whatever element i will use with whatever element i will use this app text color so this has become a directive property using this property i will be able to uh, change the name of the color uh, change the color of the background to yellow so how we can use it just need to go to this app.component.html and here rather than h just need to write the p and uh, just need to write app what was the name app text color app text color we have just used it and here i will write hello angular so now it should be displayed in the in uh, yellow background okay so let's see if it has been compiled or not so yes it has been compiled and let's see now what happens just need to open it again and let's see if it was saved or not app text color let me check again app text color it's background native element dot background color let me check if it is the same one which I need to use it's oh it's style before that you need to use the style 
So here you need to use the style and then you need to use the background color. And now if it is compiled, then it should display your text in yellow color. Okay, so now it is yellow. So this is the way you can create your directive. This was one of the examples as how you can change the look and feel of the text or of the components that you are going to display on your web page. Apart from that, there are many other uses of this uh, directive. So we will discuss them in coming videos. So stay tuned and please like subscribe my channel. Bye bye.